Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to replace the battery in a late 2010 11-inch MacBook Air. When replacing the battery in this machine, it's important that you calibrate the power management system in order to get the full use of your battery. We include these instructions as well, so be sure to watch all the way to the end of the video. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the MacBook Air, and are working on a soft static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first thing to do is close your MacBook Air and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 5-point torque screws to remove using your pentalobe screwdriver. The two center screws along the hinge edge are longer than the others, so let's remove those first. Then, remove the remaining 8 screws. You can now lift the bottom cover up and off. There's a snap in the center, so you may have to pull a bit to detach it. The battery connector is located here. To detach the battery, carefully lift up on the edges of the connector until it comes free. There are five Torx T5 screws holding the battery in that need to be removed. Start with the three in the back and center, then the two near the front. Now all you need to do is lift the battery up and out of the MacBook Air. Set your new battery into the MacBook Air and make sure it's laying flat. We can now replace the five Torx T5 screws that hold the battery in. Find the longest of the screws and use it in the center slot. You may need to push down on the battery slightly to help start the screw. Use the next two longest screws in the inner corners. And finally the two shortest in the front corners. Finally, reconnect the battery by lining up the connector and simply pushing it back into its socket. You can now set the bottom cover back into place and replace the screws you removed earlier. Start with the two longer screws which go in the center on the hinge edge. Then, replace the remaining eight screws. You may now flip your MacBook Air over, open it up, and turn it on. Now that the battery is installed and working, we need to calibrate the power system. We'll be demonstrating the process with the MacBook Pro, but it's the same for all MacBook models. First, shut your computer all the way down. Then, attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is 100% charged, the light should turn green. Once it has, you should leave it connected for at least two more hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures, like sleeping the hard drive, are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. 
You can still use it at this time, but don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. Once the battery is discharged, your computer will automatically shut down. Leave it shut down for at least 5 hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. Finally, reattach the power cable and let the battery charge back up to 100%. This time, you can use the computer while it's charging. Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to what they were before and use your computer normally.